New tonight, a CBS4 update on that billion dollar development project in Boone County. Plans for a massive research and innovation park just north of Lebanon moving forward. CBS4's Scarlett O'Hara tells us what the area could look like in the years ahead. Behind me may look like empty fields now, but to developers and Lebanon leaders, it's an opportunity for business deals in the tens of billions of dollars. Last night, city council members approved a zoning amendment. Mayor Matt Gentry said it irons out the fine details like building heights, stormwater management, and includes protections for existing homeowners who want to stay in the area. While some have opposed this project, hoping to keep thousands of acres in question as farmland, Gentry says when all is said and done, people in Lebanon could enjoy several benefits like reduced or even zero property taxes. These are not as traditional types of developments. I mean, Eli Lilly is a $3.7 billion company, is about, I mean, close to three times the size of the entire assessed value of the city of Lebanon, right? So these are dramatic levels of investment. And at the end of this, Eli Lilly may be one of the smaller users in this based on, on some of the leads we have. He also says the county is a finalist for a $50 billion semiconductor plan, and the plan approved last night helps companies make decisions knowing what expectations are in place. The mayor says the foundation for Eli Lilly's facility could be set this winter, and time will tell which investors may follow. Reporting in Boone County, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News.